What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, delving into the Not Meant for Children GTA 4. In a previous video, I gave you some tips on getting started in GTA 4. Where to find armor, where to find weapons in places throughout the city to help you in your further adventures. This video, I'm taking you on one of the first missions. This mission is It's Your Call. When I first played GTA 4, one of the things that sort of irked me is the driving controls. Those controls are not as smooth as previous GTA games. Then the story really turned me off. Nico is an interesting character, but GTA 4 took itself too seriously. The story felt too grim, too drawn out, too weighty. Granted, the game follows similar patterns in GTA 5 based or GTA based games. Introduction, established love interest, established conflict, then major bad guys introduced, the puppet master of sorts, but it all felt well too grim. Plus the driving controls sucked. Well, Let's get on with the mission, and I'll probably comment throughout. I'll have his head chopped off and put a film of it on the internet. Ah, oh, good. Great. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I'll say what you like, but at least that guy knows how to speak to a lady. Yes, he's all charmed. Come on, Nico, let's go. Darling, I, I'll see you later. I've got to take my cousin around some more. Get him settled. Nico, you're driving us to a hardware store on Dillon Street. You have arrived. Calculating route. Turn right. Doing some home improvements, Roman. You're going to build this mansion you tell me about? Oh, funny guy. We're going to get money. In America, you need money to do anything. You're taking me to a backroom game where I'll win all the dollars we need to really see this town. Nightclub, women, titties. You can play. Okay, you're taking Roman to gamble. And to be honest with you, this mission kind of sucked. It really didn't have any real point or serve any purpose in the game. It could have been cut out. This is why I feel GTA 4 was one of the worst GTA games. I mean, again, the driving controls suck. And there's just these kind of minor drawn out missions that you really don't need. You know, you're taking Roman to go gamble and essentially you're going to be a lookout and you can't do anything. And it doesn't matter anyway. When I play this game, I'll have enough money to pay them back ten times. Only so slobitio or sparkum slotio. Nico, wait for me here while I go inside to clean up. Shit, uh, I almost forgot. I'm giving you my old phone. My new number's in there. Call me if some Albanians show up in some shitty beige willard. Those are the guys I owe money to. Do, do not hurt them. I know what you're like, Nico Pellic. You and your dad's Roman. Nika Drugacie. If you're bored watching this, yeah, it's even boring to play. So I'm going to fast forward through to the action. Okay, Roman asks you not to kill these guys. Well, ah, screw it.
If you kill the guys, you fail the mission. So I'm going to cut to what you are really supposed to do. Cousin, two guys are going in the store. I think they are the loan sharks you speak of. Down. You better get out of there. All right, all right, I'm coming. Mama fine. Quick, you take us back to the cab depot. That's his garden. You're in much trouble, belly. Remember. What you're supposed to do is flip your car in reverse, turn around, and flee back to the cab company. Ooh. I mean, the reason is, it's you wind up with another mission where these loan sharks are beating up on Roman, and you end up killing them anyway. I mean, like I said, this just draws things out too much, and it's kind of what irked me in GTA 4. So, let's finish the mission. That is the last we have seen of those long sharks. I hope. I do not understand it. I do everything I learn on TV. Everything that I read in the books. I do what Cod Jabowitz tell me it may contain nuts. I raise on flop. I ride river. It don't make no sense. Me many me a yes, no. Shit. You ain't going to make sense to no people if you keep speaking in that language. We're here. Oh, do you like your phone? Maybe one day you'll get the premium quality one like mine. Then you will have really made it. I can only wish. See you later, cousin. The other thing that kind of irked me was the saving. There was only autosave. You couldn't save somewhere within the game. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it enlightening. I'm Brad proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by. Well, fuck you too, motherfucker!